Hi everyone. First, I'd like to give recognition to the first responders and those that assist with disasters. 911 was a very troubling time, yet it could have been worse if our first responders hadn't assisted others and saved lives. This is my special thanks to you all. Today, we're going to do our global news, worldwide earthquake and volcano news update. We really try hard to do this once a week. We've had some previous videos to release such as the four volcano calderas that are in Missouri. The other one we did was the New Zealand's Topo volcano update. The third was a 96 earthquakes in one day in California. And the very last one was today's video. It was 1,306 earthquakes in Iceland in one day. Let's do our global news earthquake update. There's a lot going on in the world. We're gonna check it out. Let's do this. everyone we're going to get started with the global news earthquake update now there was a 3.7 in Washington that was pretty big generated quite a few responses and let's see how many responses did it actually get look like it got 572 reports just to let you know and doesn't seem like it's anything out of the ordinary just feeling shaking I know one person had said that they were trying to go to sleep and all of a sudden as soon as I guess as soon as they closed their eyes <laughs> the darn bed started shaking they were like okay I guess I can't go to sleep now this was not too far from Olympic National Park Olympic National Forest now a little bit above this you do see several earthquakes that are around in the Vancouver area there's some over here in this the little island here Prince Wells Island they didn't have any but right along here they sure did and then the Vancouver Island had a couple but Washington was something that caught us all off guard now over in the National Forest here in Idaho they are definitely having earthquakes they've had several they had about four now they did have an unconfirmed 3.8 that was yesterday and let's see right now we just got another Iceland you're going to see that a lot. Iceland is really firing up right now as far as earthquakes are concerned. And we also have five days ago a 2.1. So yes, they're starting to get earthquakes. And then you also have one that's over here in Idaho in Georgetown. Now let's keep going down. Let's see, Oregon didn't have too much. Had a couple, like one in Medford. Redding in Northern California had some. Along the coastline, we are receiving earthquakes right by the San Andreas Fault. Some of them are actually on the San Andreas Fault. That's out there in the Bay Area. Hi, Bay Area, I miss you. I grew up there, great place. Well, it was, I don't know how it is now. But thing is, is that, that we have to pay attention to are these earthquakes that are located around these volcanoes. Now, if they these start to turn yellow or any other color, that's an indicator that they're, they're active, okay? If that starts to happen. Los Angeles area has received quite a few earthquakes. We did do an actual uh, video on uh, California this week. They had so many earthquakes going on. They had, I think it was like uh, 56, 56 earthquakes that was here in California. Now down here in Chula Vista area, they have this, these going on in Borrego Springs. This is an old volcanic area here. I remember researching that a while back. Also, you have earthquakes over around El Centro, Calexico, Mexicali, and Salt Butts is the volcano that's over here in this area. So, and just to let you know, Ridgecrest has had earthquakes, and just remember that that uh, dormant volcano, extinct volcano is right there in that area, so keep an eye on that. Baja California had some, 
let's go ahead and raise ourselves up so we can go a little bit faster in the states whites new mexico has keeps having earthquakes and also in texas and let's see here oklahoma's had some let's see what's going on here this is the new madrid area kentucky and most recent one was 21 hours ago in parma missouri there's several over here we did have one in tennessee at 2.2 offshore new jersey there was actually a 2.2 that's not too bad montreal had had a small one quebec had a small one they're really small over in this area so just to let you know ottawa had some too and we'll just go on down to mexico mexico has the same old thing this is what the the week looked like the past week looked like now the reddish ones are the ones that are the most recent now guatemala area you see the volcanoes honduras ecuador nicaragua costa rica and panama panama has actually calmed down it's not that many but they have they have had some really large earthquakes uh in this area a lot of them are offshore like this one here this one here was pretty big it was a 5.0 about six days ago for costa rica and the volcanic belt here this is a volcanic belt here they have had quite a few in and out of the uh, volcanoes in this area and let's go ahead and go down here and see what else is going on you also see that in Bogota also in let's see what's another area, Ecuador oh, sorry Ecuador is down here Ecuador has had eruptions in this area there's two of them that's going off right now and we looks like there's a substantial one here in Peru it was a 4.3 that happened about 18 hours ago and along the shore same as before there's there's large earthquakes here and there 5.4 was also in Peru Chile still having the earthquakes right here right along the volcanoes same thing over here in this area and we keep going down Let's see anything else going on no nothing else is going on we need to raise up and we don't want to forget Haiti Puerto Rico and those two now sandwich islands it's been on like Donkey Kong over here. I mean, they had a 5.2 two, just two hours ago. And these are large too. These are fives also. Let's go up here real quick. Let's make sure we pay attention to Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic, all of these places in this area are receiving earthquakes. All of them. This is what the past week has looked like for this area. We still have two volcanoes that are on unrest in this area. It is the same thing as before in Puerto Rico. Those tourist attractions along the beach, they're actually getting bombarded in this area here. Then if we look at Haiti, Haiti has had some offshore, just like Puerto Rico, but they've had a couple of them that were actually on land. Just a few were up in this area. They're not that large, but still, they are starting to get uh, more earthquakes in this area. Now, the largest one that I can see right now is a 4.1 that happened just an hour ago. So, they're, they, like I said, they're pretty active. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and go across the water. Now, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge ha has been having earthquakes big time. 4.8 right there, and I think this one here is a 5. They look like a stitch work, doesn't it? <laughs> 5.1, 7 hours ago, so that's very recent. And earlier they had the... 5.9 no 6.9 that was five days ago on the central mid-atlantic ridge and if you follow this up you'll be going toward iceland we're going to go up that way africa has had only look like one two three four about four earthquakes not too bad not like it was before but that volcano right there this is one of the one of the most vicious ones here hopefully it doesn't go off there's one this red this actually erupting and one behind it that's actually under warning to go off and make sure you check out is africa splitting that video that we have in the playlist you'll see it on the website uh, i mean on the channel it's really interesting there's a gigantic split in africa and i don't want to give the video away but you should really check it out also, we, we need to check and see what's going on with La Palma. La Palma is actually getting earthquakes right now. 
still getting them. Tenerife is also getting them, mainly offshore though. So this right here is La Palma. This is how this week looked like. Look really familiar, but it's not as bad as it was when they were getting like 250 earthquakes in one day. I remember that. These right here are offshore, so but there is a volcano on Tenerife as well. Nothing else is going on except for maybe offshore. Okay, so we took care of Africa, La Palma. Let's move on up. Azores. They actually have two volcanoes that are actually under warning right now. Portugal has had, in Spain, they have had their their uh, few earthquakes. Now, Spain has had more, but offshore is where Portugal's uh, earthquakes are actually located, as you can see here. Now, this area here has not let up yet. This has been going on for a long time. But it's not as much as it was before. Matter of fact, if you look at the Iceland video before this, the way Iceland looks right now in that one spot is how this spot used to look. But it's not as bad as it was before. Now, along the northern part of Africa, Tunisia area, there are earthquakes. And also in Tunisia, there was actually one of 3.9 just yesterday. Now, we're going to go ahead and keep going. France has had earthquakes. Let's see here. Does it want to show them? <laughs> Didn't want to do it. We're getting up updates here. There we go. France is having earthquakes all in this area here. Switzerland. Liechtenstein. You may not know, be familiar with the name of this place, but the Disney castle that we always see at the very beginning of the Disney movie, the actual castle is in Liechtenstein. It's pretty cool. So this right here, this area is also receiving earthquakes as well. Austria, Luxembourg. Oh God, I love that place, Cologne. Let's see, way up here, where is this? Poland is also, Poland is actually getting earthquakes as well. Now Italy, in central Italy, they are definitely getting earthquakes and it's all clusters, all in one particular area. Now, as you go down, it gets lighter. There's a few scattered here and there. And let's take a look at Sicilia, Sicily. Mount Etna is under warning still to erupt. And also, which one is this one? Volcano. That one is still under unrest. And this one here, Stromboli, is actually erupting. So that's what's going on with Sicily. Let's move over to Greece. Greece has calmed down some. But the place where they're getting the most earthquakes now, instead of in the mid, in the you know, these small islands, is along the convergent line here. This is where the plates actually slam together, are either subduct, one may go under the other. This is where all these earthquakes are now in the Greek islands. Now also you'll see that there's a lot of earthquakes all just, just like a little perfect circle. You also have Turkey that's receiving earthquakes. Let me raise up and make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, I'm not. Turkey has had earthquakes. They're small, but they're scattered. Armenia hasn't had any. Georgia has had like one. Syria's good to go. Lebanon's good to go. Okay. Let's see. Now, as we go over though, you will see over here near the Persian Gulf, you will see that they're having earthquakes of 3.2 in that area there. And Iran has had some this week. Um, one of the larger ones was the 5.4. Tehran, Tehran has had just a couple. Tajikistan, now we have the stands. I like this area. Afghanistan, all these different stands. They have had quite a few earthquakes once again, and they're going up even higher now. Remember at first they were just in this area. Now they're going even up even higher. Uh, Kazakhstan has had a 4.2 way up there. You see China has had a 4.3 there. And also here's China again. That's a 4.6. India has had some. Let's see. Do, have they had a confirmed one this time? I know they were getting a lot of unconfirmed. There's another unconfirmed earthquake. That's a 3.0 in India. China had a mega earthquake right about here. Wow. It actually jumped. A 6.6. 6. 
is what China had just five days ago. Laos has had some, and Burma has had earthquakes, nothing really big, but you know, they could feel it. Also where this volcano is, where I'm at looking at right now is a 4.4, very close to a volcano. Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This area was on fire at one time. Thank goodness it's actually calmed down there. Nothing's going on there at all. Indonesia, same thing. Earlier this week, there were a lot of earthquakes coming left and right. At this time now, they do have several that are still erupting. If you go all the way around and you look at Sulawesi in that area, they're still, they're still receiving earthquakes earlier this week. They, they mainly got those. Now, when it comes to the Philippines though, they're still getting earthquakes. Please don't think that they're not. They're, they're still getting them offshore and on land. That one right there was a small one that's inside about three different earthquakes. Let's see if we get the big one. Let's see if it let me. It doesn't want to let me. They're too close. And now we're still we got 25 new new uh, reports now. Let's see a 5.1 in Indonesia. And if we look up towards Philippines, let's go ahead and get up there real quick. I'm going to see something here. Looks like. Okay. I was wondering if one of these were actually erupting, but they're not. But they are definitely still getting earthquakes, especially along their divergent line here. Their divergent boundary is what a lot of people call it. They do have clusters throughout throughout here in various areas and but a lot of them are still scattered out now manila is not as bad as it was before remember this whole area was red but they still are getting clusters here and there in certain areas okay just wanted to let you see that they are still getting it taiwan it's good to go now we need to go down papua new guinea we already talked about them they had that big one it was a 5.27 hours ago. Vanuatu, they have had earthquakes all along the volcanoes here. And we go on down. The Samoan Islands, they actually have one that's under unrest. There's one place I don't get to see off on this one. Okay, let's talk about New Zealand. New Zealand is that area where they have a North Island and a South Island. In the North Island, in Tuapo, and we also did a video on this as well. The top, uh, Lake Tuapo Volcano. The volcano is actually underneath the lake. If you check out that video, there's a podcast on it that will fully explain what they have been researching about this area there's deformation that's um that's coming in this particular area here deformation 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 but you also have earthquakes that are right here but the actual volcano is underwater okay this matter of fact they stated when i did some research they state that this was the worst eruption of all was this particular one you know you have a lot of water and everything involved just like mount st helens this pretty much you know has all the springs and stuff around it but you have earthquakes all in this area all along the shore all off offshore auckland has been able to dodge them but the main concern is right here where that volcano is because it's getting so many earthquakes right now now, at first we weren't getting any earthquakes on the South Island, but now we're starting to, especially down in this corner. Earlier this week, this, I mean, early, uh, yeah, earlier this week, this whole area was just full of earthquakes. But as time goes on, they start to disappear. Let's go ahead and go up, see what's going on. South Korea is good to go. We have Japan that is still getting earthquakes. This is how their week looked. And you can see there's a very, there's rings and rings within rings right there. And also right there. 
that was a 5.47 days ago in uh, Russia. Let's see what this one is. 5.35 days ago. So five days ago, it must have been on <laughs> in this area right here. And if we go up, we'll see that there those same volcanoes are up here. Unrest. I'm sorry, not unrest. These are actually a warning, and these two are actually erupting. There's a very large earthquake over here. It's a 5.2 that's considered in Russia. If you go through the Bering Strait, you'll see that it's the same thing. Those volcanoes are actually either under warning or unrest. Nothing's erupting yet. Now we do have some military bases that's in that, that are on some of these islands. So hopefully if they're on one of those islands that they will be evacuated, I would hope so because those islands don't look that large at all. Now you also have a lot of military here at Kodak. Yeah, I used to live here. <laughs> used to live quite a few places. I used to live in Anchorage. Anchorage is a very, very different type of place. But I'm going to tell you, when I lived there, I had no idea that all these volcanoes were there. I saw the mountains. I saw the, you know, the hills and mountains and everything. But I had no idea that I was actually living next to a volcano. And we did have earthquakes there. They sounded like trains uh, were moving and the whole place would rumble. But you have to really pay attention. There's definitely some earthquakes that are happening right along their volcanoes. I haven't seen anything erupt in this whole, in this area. And I'm very surprised with the amount of earthquakes they've had. But I haven't seen anything erupt in that area. Not at all. Well, let's move. You know, there's always that one place that I always forget. And that's Iceland. Iceland had 1,306 earthquakes in one day. And guess where most of them were? Right here. The, you can check out that video. That video just came out today. So that one will explain exactly what's going on up here. But yes, look at this. Now, I have never seen this before. Not to this extent that it's just completely red. And they have the most those cute little uh, birds. They're called the puffin. When I went fishing in the in the straits in Alaska, I, I found out that I really love that cute little bird. It looked like a clown in the face. Uh, but you you when you, if you look at the Iceland video, you'll actually see it. You I actually have a, a clip with one of those there where you can actually see what they look like. But that's Iceland. Iceland is still going through it. They actually have one volcano unrest another one unrest but nothing is erupting in iceland let me take a good look there's nothing in sweden norway finland places that i didn't look up to making sure i look down australia has had some matter of fact they had unconfirmed that's right a 3.8 there and let's see what else we're almost done folks Okay, a 3.4, and I'm not going to do them all. 3.3, so they haven't had anything major. Okay, we just went around the whole planet, everybody. I hope we covered the area that you were looking for. I do want to say that there's one place that I always forget, and this is poor little place out here that's been having earthquakes and a Doran volcano is erupting right now, and that's Hawaii. And one's under unrest with all kinds of earthquakes. Pahala has had, this is Pahala here, has had a whole bunch of earthquakes today. And if I was to actually look here, I guarantee you, is you have New Zealand. Let's see here. New Zealand. New Zealand. See, New Zealand, you, you're getting that many. Now, that big cluster on in Iceland this is it right here Grimsey it's an island and, and look at that eight minutes nine nine ten see they're they're all it's like just just constant it's like a machine gun look at that and Grimsey 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 the, and so the whole time I've been talking here they've been having an earthquake like one every one minute or two minutes just think it was 1306 just a few hours ago. I can't imagine what the number is now. Now, one thing I do want to let you know is
Now, when you see the numbers up here, it's better to add these up and come up with a total for the day because they're, they actually have a number for those earthquakes that you don't feel, but they actually did happen. Now, it says 119 here, but if you add these numbers up, it comes up to about 170 something earthquakes right here. About 176. So that would be in one day, and that would be actually in the United States. So this is for the United States. And we have had some unconfirmed earthquakes. There's a, there, oh, there's only two when I last looked, so there's about three of them now. One was in Virginia, one was in Pennsylvania, and one was in Utah. Now, another thing that I looked at was in New Zealand. So if you add all of these quakes up, that's the real true total, but what the, they want to tell you what people feel, and that's the 80. So they had about 80 earthquakes in one day that you could actually feel. And they're actually low. It's just like up in Iceland. They're just constantly coming. Now, when you look at this, you'll see that it'll say like 10 minutes, 50 minutes, one hour, and six minutes, 12, two hours, and one minute. You know, so there's a pretty much spread out, not like the, the other one that we were looking at earlier. Now, another one that I looked at was actually Iceland. Now, Iceland is the one, look at that. The ones they didn't feel was 952. So when I added all these numbers up, that's when I came up with the number I had for the video. Now, the ones that they that you actually feel is the 12, 1,235. I don't know, some of them, they're omit, omitting, and I don't really understand why, but, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is. This actually shows how often the earthquakes were coming, 33 minutes, 45, 45, 48, 53, 58, see that? One hour, 60, one hour and two minutes, nine minutes, so every so many minutes, this place, Grimsey, is getting an earthquake, and look, look how many that's all you see on the whole entire map. If I was to click more, you still see the same place. So that's how many earthquakes they're getting. Now let's go ahead and keep looking. There's a couple of places I wanted to cover with you. Now this here is in California. They have actually slowed down. They have actually s slowed down. So about, but the only thing I can say is if I go by this is 94 earthquakes in 24 hours for California right now versus 46. So really, technically, it was actually the 90-something. Now, they, I don't know why they're putting Utah, an unconfirmed earthquake in Utah, on the California roster. I have no idea what the connection is. But they know, and that's all that matters. <laughs> it's not up for me. Let's go ahead and see. There's, like, one other place I want to show you. The other place I wanted to show you was... Hawaii. Pahala is the main place that's getting earthquakes right now. Pahala. Napu, Pahala. Pahala. Yeah, they, they're getting a lot of earthquakes right now. Now, there's actually magma that is actually under that area, right under Pahala. And there's been some disputes on trying to figure out what is actually going on under Pahala. For the people that are actually in New Zealand, I want you to know that um, the Whites Volcano is now officially level two. It's actually on unrest right now. That was something that I had actually figured out. And this is the information about Pahala. I'll leave the link in the description so you, if you're interested, you can learn what's going on with the land of Pahala in, in Hawaii. Everyone, this concludes the global update that I've been trying to get to, but we've had so many topics coming up that I just had to do those videos. But now we've caught up and we'll continue to do this for you. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please feel free to put your comments in there. And I will see you at the next video. Ciao.